it's Jay and today I am here with a super exciting video. I was asked by Maggie and Martin to be a part of the Book Madness 2017 this year. If you guys don't know what Book Madness is, it's kind of like March Madness with basketball where the teams face off each other and there's different brackets and then ultimately when you lose you're knocked out and there's a winner at the end. Book Madness is the same thing but with book characters so I believe there are 12 of us participating? I could be totally wrong on that, so sorry if I am. We all picked a character and we need to campaign for them in order to basically make them like the best character in the world, but we need the help of you guys and your voting in order to pick the best character. There's a little like logistic stuff to get through first. So voting is starting today, March 1st, 2017, and it's going to go all the way until March 5th, 2017 and the voting ends at 11:59 central time so make sure you get your votes in before then for my character and nobody else's it's fine you guys are able to vote for five different characters per round using the link down below so make sure you guys go check that out you know if you want you can only vote for one aka my character and just forget the other four characters that you were going to vote for but like just a suggestion once you guys vote you guys are going to be entered for some super cool prizes so make sure you actually vote so without further ado, let me tell you about my little baby angel unicorn character. Let us get started! I came up with 10 reasons why you should vote for my character, which is Jest from Heartless by Marissa Meyer. Oh my god, I love him so much. I don't have the physical copy of the book because I'm pushing my love onto my mom and making her read it. So you're gonna have to deal with this lovely graphic of the book. Same thing. Number one is my most shallow reason because he is beautiful. I'll insert some like fan art that people have done of this beautiful man. And just look at him. His like dark hair. I'm just like yes please. And those eyes. Yes please. And like who doesn't love a man who's confident enough to wear tights, okay? And like little shoes with bells on them, okay? It takes a real man to do that. I'm just saying, so like, keep that in mind. So reason number two is that you would always be entertained. Just think of it, like that scene where he first becomes introduced into the story and he's like hanging from the ceiling pulling doves and shit out of his hat and like shooting rabbits places and cards are just flying everywhere, like, do you know how entertaining your relationship would be? Or your friendship? Doesn't have to be a relationship, but you know what I'm saying? Like, there would never be a dull moment in that friendship. Like, you are gonna have a great time at all times. Reason number three is that he sacrifices himself for Kath, and honestly, who wouldn't want a man that's willing to sacrifice himself for you? Like, romantic? I'm just saying. Maybe it's just me, but I think it's romantic. We need more men like Jest who are willing to sacrifice themselves for their woman. Because they want their woman to survive and be fierce and just, yeah. We need more, okay? We need more. Reason number four is that you would gain a whole new circle of friends. Have the Hatta, you would have the Cheshire Cat, you would have Kath. When she wasn't crazy, hopefully, you could have her when she's not crazy because, you know, took a turn for the worst, that one did. You would have the hare, the lion, like the little mouse. Like, come on. I personally think that going to a Mad Hatta's tea party would be so lit. Is that what the children are saying these days? Lit? I think it would be so much fun. So personally, I would want to be friends with them. Also, you get to hang out with Raven. And Raven? Can we just take that character in too? He's great. He's super funny. Snarky. My type of guy. Reason number five is Jess is just funny. He's hilarious. And just the banter that you would probably have back and forth with him would be so entertaining. Which, you know, full circle, back to point number two. Just your whole life would be so much more entertaining. Reason number six is that some of his one-liners are so swoon-worthy. Like, honestly, if a guy would ever say some of the lines he said to Kat, mm, my heart, it would be yours, my friend. And I would just hand it over and be like, please don't break it. But like, I love you. One of his lines is, I was saving this for later, so I must have been saving it for you. And I'm just like, swoon, like, love me, be mine. Reason number seven is forbidden romance. Honestly, personally. When I'm told I can't have something, it makes me want it more. So if my parents were telling me, like, no, you need to marry the king, not this random court jester who's hilarious and beautiful and, like, everything you've ever wanted in a man, I would be like, screw you, I'm gonna go for that court jester and you can't stop me. So personally, forbidden love is just something 
that gets me going. I love me some just because of it. Number eight are the love letters that he writes Kath. Honestly, if a guy were to write me a love letter, like my heart is yours. Like that is adorable. It's so romantic. We need more romance in our life. And Jess is just like the perfect angel baby unicorn who provides that romance. Reason number nine is he has yellow eyes. Okay? Like, I know that is like super superficial. That's super superficial. But like, guys. All guys have like blue eyes that are as blue as the ocean or brown like chocolate. Like no, you can be like, my man has yellow eyes. Like you ain't got shit on him. I would just be so entertained just staring at his eyes. Like who has yellow eyes? Like that's, uh, that's so cool in my opinion. I just, I would love to have yellow eyes. I think it would be cool. Reason number 10 is probably the one that matters the most and it is that he puts his friends before himself at all times. There's one moment in the book where there's a Jabberwocky attack. It's not a spoiler because like the Jabberwocky is a huge part of it. He puts himself at risk in order to protect everybody that he loves and just we need more guys like that, you know? Like we need more people like that, to be honest, to put themselves last and want to help other people. So, Jess is like that, so we love Jess here on this channel. Alright guys, so that is my super rambly, probably made no sense reasons why you should vote for Jess in this competition. Make sure you go to the link down below, vote for Jess. Only vote for Jess, you don't need the other four characters you're allowed to vote for, I'm just saying, just a suggestion, you know, Jess is the way to go with this competition. Hopefully I see you in the next round of this competition if I convinced you to vote for him. If not, vote for him anyways because he's... Great. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!